channel lifestyle designs with Teresa if you are new to this channel welcome 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 we are so happy to have you here on this channel watching thank you thank you so much and to my existing subscribers thank you so much for continuing to rock with me blessings to every one of you and your family now today guys we're not gonna be long okay because what I want to do well let's just go back because I don't know if you've seen my prior videos, but before that, I did a tablescape in purple. And after I did the tablescape in purple, I did my kitchen area a reset and I added some purple to my kitchen area. So now what I wanna go ahead and do is just add a touch of purple to my credenza area. So you see how I'm just bringing it all together for the spring, I decorated prior for the spring in pinkish color. Um, and now I'm doing another color, I'm doing purple. And then um, before the spring is out, uh, I may be coming up with a few other ideas and um, designs for spring, but I definitely want you to come along with me and watch everything that I am doing. Now today, I'm gonna go ahead and get this credenza area, pull this down a little, I think that I can, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and get this credenza area style and um, I wanna add just a little touch of purple to it. Um, just bring everything together, cohesive all together and uh, bring it all into one style. And after this, I'll let you know that I will be adding a touch of uh, purple lavender, because it's all in the same family, um, to my living area as well. So we have a big spring ahead of us, okay? So guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this started. Now the first thing I have is this white base that I'm going to be adding to my credenza. And let's see, give me one second guys, one second. Okay, I'm back. Seems like I see all this stuff in on this area, so I just want to just touch it up a little. Now this credenza, I'm actually gonna be painting this credenza black, but I actually went over it with a white coloring, and then I'm gonna come back, my earring fell out. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm going to do it in black. So if um, I decide I may also do it on video, I'm not sure, but the thing about it is I did it in white, I'm gonna come back and do black, but with this credenza, the front part, it is very detailed, and um, you really need to take your time. So it was actually pink at first, I added a little white, and then now I'll be soon adding the black to kind of blend in with my table with the black and the black legs. So got that wiped off because it seemed like I looked like I seen a little dust down. So okay, so now we're gonna be coming with this beautiful white base. This white base is really beautiful. As you can see, it is very detailed, very, very detailed. I thrifted this vase some time ago, but it is really, really beautiful. I love the design on this vase, and I know that I'll have this around for a while I'm using it. So, I'm gonna add this vase here, and let's see. And 
to this base, I have some beautiful florals here that I am going to add to the base. Now I do like the greenery on these floors, but I did take off some of the greenery on these floors. add these which really brings in that lavender look. And now I'm just going to blend them in some with the others. Okay, now what I'm gonna do next is I have this gold placemat and I only have one in this particular placemat. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add this to the credenza and I'm gonna put it under this white base. And it'll bring in some of with some the decor with some of the gold here and the picture I have here. Okay. Uh, next, I'm gonna bring in this pretty purple. It's almost like a lavender, you can see. It's very cute. I love the detailing on it at the top because it's slim at the top. You can actually put floors in it or you can let it stand alone. And today what I'm going to do is just let it stand along by itself. I'm going to go ahead and add this to the credenza. I'm going to add that right here. And as you can see, this gold is blending in with the picture here that has the gold in it. So that's, that's good. Okay. And now I'm going to bring in this beautiful bowl that I thrifted some time ago. It was actually silver, but I painted it gold. But it is a beautiful, beautiful bowl. I really love this bowl, so cute. And you can see the just detailed designs on it. It's actually nice. So I'm gonna add that to this side. And of course, get your springs, so what I'm going to do is bring in these spring florals. And these actually came from Dollar Tree. So they actually hang, but I have another idea for them. What I'm gonna do is just lightly lay them in this bowl. Okay, I'm just lightly laying it in this bowl and it's gonna bring that freshness of spring. Isn't it such a beautiful green? That's why when I seen it in Dollar Tree, I picked up on it and said, this is such a beautiful green. So I picked it up, but you can actually put it in a vase or some other type of bowl, let it hang. So I come up with the idea just to lay it here and bring in a fresh, touch of greenery, light greenery to the credenza.
And last but not least, I am going to add this beautiful star. I guess that's what I call it, but it's really cute. I purchased this from Ross sometime this year, maybe, no, it was last year. I purchased this from Ross and I wanna say it was about $5.99. It wasn't that expensive, but really nice. So I'm gonna add this. I think I'm just gonna pull this back a little. And maybe add this to the side here. Bring this up some. And just add this to the side here. And that is basically all I will be doing for this credenza. So guys, I hope you like what I have done to this credenza. And what I'm gonna do is just show you an overall because the way my credenza is set up right here at the table, and it's kind of, I'm viewing it, you're viewing it sideways. So what I'm gonna do is actually go ahead and um, with the reveal and the looks of everything, I'm gonna try to come back this way so you can see a beautiful view of this credenza. Thank you all so much. I really appreciate each and every one of you. So let's go ahead and see how this credenza turned out.